what's up guys it is QP and this is no Shar canals we are playing some battlefield 3 and oh baby am I so excited my excitement from last week carried over into this week and I am going to flat out say some things um, I have found something that has been very very elusive in the first person shooter um, I, I'm gonna be real real secret as to what it is in this game and I I, I, I no I, pair I, camels Joe God damn it! Talking about the military camels. You, that, that was supposed to be between me and you, man. That's just fucked up. The military camels. Oh, military camels again? Oh, Jesus Christ! I don't know how I deal with this retard. I really don't. Besides him, uh, Battlefield Three guys. Uh, this is everything that QP had hoped it would be, and a little bit more. Uh, this game is fun as shit. There's no other way to say it. It has some of the best things going for it. Uh, it's just amazing. You know, the stuff that I had had concerns with with Battlefield Bad Company 2, they've addressed. They've fixed in my eyes. I, I, I know that there's still going to be some tweaks. And there's still going to be some things that they're going to have to continue to work on. However, comma... What what I'm seeing and what I'm playing um, in in the, the 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 support that has already been out there, you know, I downloaded a patch before I'd even played it. So that's them taking and knowing the initiative and, and and getting on it when there's something that's going to be a problem, and that is what I want in a developer. And they gave me what I want in a game. I want something that's tactical. I want something that's fast paced. Now a lot of naysayers will say like this is not a fast pass fast fast paced game but trust me if played if you're playing this game the way that it should be played it's not slow it's it's very up tempo it's very upbeat there's always something going on you know with with shit blowing up over your head uh sniper bullets whizzing by you i mean there's always there's like there's never a moment of non action and it's it's great it it put it puts me into that that battle simulator first person shooter to where you actually like I feel like I sit here with my headset on and I feel like I'm actually in the fight I mean it's fucking great it's fucking great I've already said F twice I'm not gonna say it again for the rest of the commentary we'll see about that <laughs> but no uh, the maps um, I think that they've done some good things with the maps the one real flaw that I've seen um, and the one kind of thing that I would hope that they do tweak eventually, uh, I, I wouldn't. I think, and may, maybe this is totally just me, but I think that the um, uh, vehicles, the jets, the choppers, the Amtrak, which the Amtrak is a boss. Uh, you see it coming, um, you just get out of the way. It takes. It, it's a little OP. Um, takes a few too many RPGs to take it out, and that thing will live as a mobile spawn point on the map, which I think is crazy. So that's that's something that I hope they tweak, but th they've kind of toned it down from a vehicle standpoint, and I think they've gone a lot more gun to gun fighting. You know, they uh, I've only died to maybe a handful of tanks in the eight hours that I've played. Um, I don't think I've died to a chopper yet. I know I have not died to a plane. I died in a plane, but that was because I would be cool. Um, you know, we find out there's jets in this game. What do we want to do? We want to fly the jets. It's just like that red button. They say, don't touch that red button. And what do you do? You touch the red button. Well, I get that way with planes. So I flew a plane. Couldn't figure out how to steer it. Finally got it back into the map and uh, flew it into a fucking mountain. Yeah, a mountain. That was live streamed first day action and it was hilarious. I could sit here and lie to you guys and, and try and pick apart things that I have with this game other than me being a retard and shooting at a blood spot on a wall um, I can't really find it you know and I, and I understand that you know over time that the community is going to get smarter and the community is going to get better um, but this, this this is the shit this is where it's at um, uh, I, I, I'm so amazed and I'm so like I sit back and I look at this game that I'm playing right now and I'm like man we were doing some freaking work you know we had a full squad 
which in my eyes is the real way to play. It's the best way to play. Uh, I, try and Lone Wolf here and there. It's not too bad. Um, I mean, it can be done, but you have got to be up against some complete incompetent tummy sticks. I was going to say the F word, but I refrained. I just I just kind of peeked over my shoulder like somebody's standing here watching me and there's nobody in the room. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny, funny stuff. But, yeah, Battlefield 3, guys, for any of you guys that are on the fence about this game, I got to say, get off of it. Um, go pick a side. And no, don't pick a side because that's bad terminology. I know that so many of my viewers are Call of Duty viewers, and that's what you guys came to this channel. That's what you guys liked about this channel. But this channel is evolving. This channel is going to evolve as these games evolve. And I can see, I will be based off this game, um, and unless Modern Warfare 3 fails, I will in this game be doing um, a 50 50 split between content for these two, two games. That's it. Done deal. Um, you guys will hopefully see some of the things that we discussed in our boot camp video, and we are actually getting ready to work on boot camp too. So I, I want to thank you guys for the support in that series. That series is, it's, I think it's going to become a pretty substantial part to a lot of people's, you know, learning of this game. And I think that's, that's awesome. To me, that makes the whole thing worthwhile. You know, everybody gets the same clean slate, same opportunity to learn the way that we learn and how we do it. And I'm I'm fired up about that. Uh, that is mine and Lloyd's baby. And um, we're going to caress it and nurture it. And you will all be our little blossoms. I, I, don't, I, don't, know, I don't know where I was going with that. I have no idea. Um, but, like, you'll see me do certain things. And when you guys pick up this game, the very first thing that you need to learn how to do is spot. If you are not spotting, you are doing yourself and you are doing everybody around you a disservice. Okay? There's no UAVs. There's no counter UAVs. There's no blackbirds. The best thing you got is your line of sight. So mark the enemy and kill him. I wouldn't have known that guy was there if he wasn't spotted. And I'm running with a good solid crew who do their fair share of spotting. And plus, you get points for it. You hit a button. It's select or back or whatever it is, and you get points. That's all you got to do. You save a life, which lives are lives are pretty crucial in these games. You know, when you're attacking, you have so many tickets to take out the bomb sites, and not knowing where the enemy is, that's a big deal. You know, tagging a sniper, somebody will call out, "Hey, enemy sniper in your area!" You know, you hear that shit. Just pay attention. It's it's sweet. But. I, I want to get oh, I want to get so far into this game like I could sit here and talk about this thing for days. Uh, one thing that I did do, and this is something for any of you guys that are currently playing Battlefield, I have started up a platoon on battlelog.battlefield.com. The link for the platoon will be in the description, and the platoon title is QP's Homies, and you'll t never guess what our clan tag is. F A H Q. <laughs> oh boy I just I didn't say it I did not say it I implied it uh, but no I I think that that's something that's fun any of you guys who want to feel free to join that um, I, I'd anytime that we're on we can throw on those clan tags and you know we can go on and we can just we can just uh, do some work and, and get get some wins because that's what I like I, I, winning in this game I'm going to say winning in this game, to me, is probably some of the most satisfying, the most satisfying way to win a game because it's all done around strategy. I mean, you use what you've got. If you've got a support kit, you use a support kit. If you're an engineer, make sure the tanks are always down. You know, everybody has a job and everybody can help everybody else. And, oh, it's, it's amazing. But, guys, I love this game. I love it. I would sleep with it under my pillow if my wife would not think that I am insane. That's how crazy about this game I am. Uh, I, I, I would almost go out on a limb and say it's probably one of, if not the best, um, games that I've ever played, hands down. Now, I haven't played through the single player, so that's why I'm kind of leaving it in that out. 
Um, but I think it's the best game I've ever played. It really, truly is to me. And the, and this is still early, so kind of is what it is. Uh, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like or dislike the video. No fair camels. And Joe, fuck you, motherfucker. Joe says he loves you. Um, fucking military camels. I swear. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, if you really enjoyed that last video that you just saw, please feel free to click the annotation on the screen for either one of the last two of my most recent uploads. Uh, hop on over, give them a like, give them a dislike, let me know what you think. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you soon. See ya.